Oh, hell no! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no! So before I review Sharknado 3, my guest star Adam Haskell is going to be reviewing this movie. Oh yeah, I'm very quick. The plot synopsis is that sharks are returning with the Sharknado. It starts from Washington, D.C. and it's going straight all the way to Orlando, Florida. That's honestly all you need to know about the plot, nothing more. So with that out of the way, Adam, take it away. Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for letting me be part of your Halloween reviews for 2015. Today I am reviewing Sharknado 3, oh hell no. Um, now, as some of you may remember from last year, I reviewed Sharknado 2 with him, and I really didn't care for it. I know it was intended to be stupid, I know it was intended to be a bad movie, but I still, it still didn't really entertain me. I found it to honestly be very boring, and I don't know. I know it was a stupid movie, but I, just, I really hated it. I just didn't care about anything. I was, I was bored through it. And with this one, I'm the same exact way. I found this one to be another boring movie. Um, it's, in my opinion, not much different. It's the same stuff as you see in Sharknado 2. Just stupid things happening. There's sharks in space. It is ridiculous. The acting is pretty much the same. It's not, it's not good. Um, I've never seen the first Sharknado. I still have never seen it. I've only seen the second one and this one. And I probably will end up seeing the fourth one. Uh, but yeah, this is just a, it's a bad movie, and it is, it's definitely intended to be a bad movie. I just didn't enjoy it. I just can't get into these movies. I don't like them at all. Um, it's just was boring to me. I just really didn't enjoy it. It's not much different than the film I saw last year, and yeah, I really didn't care for Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no! Um, I'm just gonna give this movie a 0 out of 5, just because, I don't know, I just didn't like it. I really hated it, so yeah, anyway, thank you to my Tiger for letting me be part of your review for Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. Um, really, really not a good movie, but it wasn't even intended. It was intended to be stupid, and I know that. Uh, but it could have been more entertaining. It just wasn't entertaining. Uh, so yeah. Maybe when they make the fourth one, they can make it a little more entertaining. Uh, so yeah, anyway, thank you for my tired dude. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much, Adam, for reviewing Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. So, I'll be honest with you guys. The first Sharknado and the second Sharknado are both guilty pleasure movies, in my opinion. They're both movies that are just so terrible that I just have so much fun with them. There are two movies that are very self-aware of what they are. They know that they're stupid, awful movies, but they know how to just keep you entertained through all of the crappiness that are the Sharknado movies. Sharknado and Sharknado 2, for the most part, they knew exactly what to be. And that's what I was hoping for, Sharknado 3. And with Sharknado 3, oh hell no, a very awesome movie title, by the way, I will say it surpasses the first two Sharknado movies. Sharknado 3, for the first 15 minutes, I will already say Sharknado 3 by far has the best opening scene out of the three. This movie started off strong. It already started off with all of the shark chaos. You didn't have to wait for like 20 minutes of build up for the sharks to start. They actually started right away surprisingly and I thought that was great. You were already getting plenty of blood and gore and all of these sharks just flying at you. The first 15 minutes set up for what Shark Nail 3 needed to be after that, they had the opening credits, and I was just all like, yeah, this is already better than the first two Sharknado movies. And you also get Frankie Muniz in this movie, who did a really nice job here, and it was so good to see Frankie Muniz again because, you know, he doesn't really make movies, you don't really see him all that often. So whenever you do have those once-in-a-while moments of actually seeing Frankie Muniz, it's just so awesome. And for the role that he had in this movie, I really did enjoy him. Also, you do get David Hasselhoff into this movie, and I'm not going to really spoil what his role is. All I'm going to say is that he does show up later on in the movie, it does take a while for him to show up. When he does show up, he was actually really enjoyable. And it was just nice to see David Hasselhoff because, well, he's David Hasselhoff. As for the characters Finn and Nova, I really enjoyed both of them. Visual effects aren't anything spectacular, but I will say 
compared to like the first movie it definitely has improved oh hell no lives up to its title for the first hour the second hour of this movie utter disappointment yeah I was actually really disappointed with Sharknail 3 oh hell no because like I said the first one hour the first one hour alone was actually better than the first two because it had more shark moments going on it was more outrageous and it literally lived up to the title oh hell no second half it's more like oh hell the second half is so boring you're not supposed to be bored watching a shark NATO movie you know shark NATO? Tornadoes? With sharks? How is that possible? Seriously, the biggest problem this film does in the second half is take itself way too seriously. And pretty much because we don't get as much Sharknado moments as we did in the first half, it honestly gets so boring. Because with these movies, you just want to see the Sharknado shit happen, and that's really it. But when they just get all serious, and when they talk, and talk it really drags on when the sharknado stuff does actually happen again i'll be honest it's not really as fun because by the time they happen you just don't care tara reed i never really mentioned her in my review for the first two movies she has always been the worst actress in these movies to be honest she hasn't been getting any better the first one she was crap the second movie she was crap and the third movie she remains to be crap while the rest of the performances in this movie they're okay you know with a few good performances from like frankie muniz and david hasselhoff but you know most of the performances here are okay tara reed which is terrible but you don't really come here for the performances honestly it's just all about the outrageousness of this movie and you know it just loses its spirit it loses what it's all about oh yeah and not to mention yes you do get sharks in space and it takes a while for that to happen so that was honestly nowhere near as fun as i wanted it to be i still had a little bit of fun with it because yeah sharks in space but if the second half wasn't so boring i could have seen myself having such a blast with the climax and then the ending is so stupid and apparently the ending leads up to Sharknado 4 because yeah, we are gonna get a Sharknado 4. This is how the movie ends. You know, it's not even so bad it's entertaining. It's just so bad that it's just so stupid and I wanted to facepalm at that ending because it was honestly pretty terrible. Now, I did say the second hour was boring. Is it bad? No, it's not. You know, there are Sharknado moments that I had a little bit of fun watching. Oh yeah, I did like Ryan Newman here. Ryan Newman, who I know used to be that little sister from that Disney XD show, Zeke and Luther, which is a show I actually really enjoyed. And she was from that show, See Dad Run as well, which I really enjoyed that show too. So I thought Ryan Newman did a good job. And even when she had to deal with the boring second hour of this movie, she still embraced what these Sharknail movies are all about. And you could see that for the actors. The actors do try. Tara Reid, even though she's terrible here, she at least tries here too. So unfortunately, you guys, I have to say Sharknado 3, oh hell no, is a very disappointing movie. I didn't think it was a terrible movie in general, but it is by far the weakest of the three. It's definitely a movie I'm not going to bother rewatching because it's not even a guilty pleasure movie. It's just a mediocre movie. Whereas the first two movies, I can actually call them guilty pleasure movies. So Sharknado 3, oh hell no, is going to have to get two out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of Sharknado 3? Oh hell no. And let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite Sharknado so far? The first, the second, or the third? And I would also love to thank my guest star, Adam Haskell, who returned to direct Oh Hell No, because he also did review Sharknado 2, the second one, with me as well. If you guys haven't checked out Adam Haskell, please check him out. He's a very awesome dude. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!